died and been buried, and then been raised. Yeah. I want to be your family yeah. before you go in. I just want to ask you a couple of questions. Why do you want to be baptized today? <laughs> now, many of you know Pamela, she grew up here, and so it may seem like, well, of course, but that is an incredibly significant statement that she made. Do you want to expand on that a little bit for us? Um, well, I kind of grew up in the Christian life, like most of the people here know me, I grew up in the church, and I'm like, halfway through my senior year, it's kind of like... I really believe in because I've been through some trials. And trials. It, I was like, oh, God, is there a meaning there? And then I was like, no, he's not. Or I believe that there was a God, but then I was like, he's not the Christian God. He's not good. He's not powerful. He's not loving. And um, and so that's kind of like when I left. I mean, I had always apparently not been Christian. That. I realized I didn't oh, understand but. forgiveness. I didn't understand grace. I thought that I had earned every good thing that I had and every bad thing that I had. I thought was punishment. Um, so, yeah, three years or so passed, and um, Aaliyah, Shaheen, uh, constantly talked to me about God and the gospel, and, and my tried God. to answer a lot of my questions. Um, and one day we were in a, in a diner in like April, I think, and I was like, God only creates certain people for heaven and certain people for hell because he doesn't like these people. You know, they're lame potatoes, and, and then the other people are, like, really cool, and God's like, yes, I'm going to use them for Jesus. Like, like all of us cool Christians. <laughs> 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 so, um, anyways, and so she diagrammed this up in the, in the diner, and she's like, these are my creamers, and I made them, and I love them. And I was like, no, there's a dented creamer in there, you don't like that. And she's like, no, I even love the dented creamer. And, and um, she's like, these creamers... And, and that's heaven over there, and this is hell. And I say, go to heaven, go. And, and they start going, and then one of the creamers is like, oh, look, a pepper shaker over there in hell. I'm going to go over that pepper shaker. And she's like, no, don't go. Don't go to the pepper shaker. Don't do it. And, and then and the creamer just walked off to the pepper shaker into hell. And it, and it kind of it sounds really lame, but it, like, it was like, oh, wait, crap, I'm wrong. God didn't create me for hell. I came for heaven, and I'm choosing to go where to go to hell. And I was like, ah, shoot. But then I'm too complicated to actually just pray right there on the spot. So I kind of just let it slide. And then we went to Christ Community Church, and Ben Ross was um, doing one of those Kurt Weaver things where it's like, buy books! So, um, he advertised this book by, um, Charles Spurgeon, and I was like, I read no Charles Spurgeon book, that's a Christian. Um, and he's like, it's actually written to non-Christians, and I was like, oh, well, I like to read, so maybe I will read that. So I bought it, and it was short, and it was good. And it, it answered some of my questions, and it also taught me that my questions weren't so important. What's important is who Jesus Christ is. And so, through reading that, and then I went to transfer conference, and I met this guy. And I kept it until 5 o'clock in the morning, practically begging me to become a Christian. It was really weird. Um, and then he, I didn't tell him anything, like anything. He, he talked about this girl that he knew um, in Georgia and some of the struggles that she was going through. And it kind of related a lot to me. And I was like, whoa, wait. So she struggled with forgiveness, and I struggled with forgiveness. And I was like, she can be a Christian and still, like, struggle forgiving this person he's like yeah god helps her to do that and i was like oh oh like so i realized that like you know how people say if you don't if you don't forgive you can't be a christian because god can't forgive you and so i realized that through christ forgiving me i'm able to forgive other people and then i'm still really like i'm mad so i was like i'm just gonna ignore all of this and come home and and then uh, I went to youth camp, and I heard CB sermon, and there really wasn't anything specifically that he said in his sermon that was like, oh, now it all makes sense. It was just kind of his urge, like, his strong plea to be like, Jesus loves you, you need Christ, and you, no matter how good of a person you are, no matter how much 
fun you think you're going to be losing becoming a Christian. You need Jesus. And I kind of came home and I was like, I'm going to journal about this because I need to make this based on logical decision, not on emotions. And so I journaled it out. I was like, yeah, this makes sense. And so my journal turned into a prayer. I wasn't sure if that counted, so I, I read it to God. I was like, okay, God, let's think. Uh, dear Jesus. I read him my journal. And that's kind of when all that happened. So it's a long Process. That that was kind of the decisive night then. Yeah. You know, by the way, can we thank Pamela for sharing all that with us? Yeah. There's, so much, there's, so much, there's so much good in that story and so much of God's hand. Uh, you know, Pamela grew up in the church here. At one time she would have professed Christ earlier, and then she went through a period of tremendous struggle where she's making the faith her own. And God, you can see how God continued to pursue her through these things. And over time, he's working in her to bring her to a point of faith in Christ Jesus that's just magnificent. And so I'm thinking, that, I'm thinking you know, God can use anything. So he uses, he uses creamers at the diner. And he uses, uh, and, and thank you, Elise, for being a faithful friend and faithful sister. brother or sister on the error of their way, they've glorified God, they've done something good, they've loved. And so this is amazing on so many fronts. To hear how all these different folks were involved and it's just glorifying the Christ. So Pamela, let's let us baptize you based on your professional faith in Jesus. you have three questions, three gospel-centered questions. The first question is this. Do you recognize that you are a sinner deserving God's just wrath? Yes. <laughs> and do you believe that Jesus, the Son of God, is the only Savior who can forgive your sins and save you from God's wrath. Most definitely. And do you trust in Jesus Christ to forgive your sins and give you eternal life? Hallelujah. Yes. Pamela, <laughs> because of your confession, we now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.